Think about the tsunami. So about 10 years ago when that occurred, the animals knew what was happening. They could sense that something bad was coming and they went uh, inland. Uh, human beings, we had all kinds of detection methods. Uh, we really weren't prepared. Candace Pert um, wrote the book called The Molecule of Emotion. She is the former chief of brain chemistry section for the National Institute of uh, Mental Health. She found out that uh, every emotion that we experience is a biochemical chain reaction. I talked about this earlier and I put up the slide so that you can see what's going on. Here's a quote from her. Emotions are neuropeptides attaching to receptors and stimulating electrical charge on the neurons. She also proved that these biochemical chain reactions are going on in our entire body. So they're not necessarily uh, connected to the heart, but you, know, you can have a, an emotional response in your foot or in your knee. We might not be aware of it. Last but not least, we have the three elements of the brain. So what's happening all the time is that your brain is saying, what's going on right now? What's happening right now? What's my perception? Then the brain goes into the past and looks to see what did you do in this uh, situation in the past? And then based on the information that the brain has, uh, the brain's going to generate it and then is going to put it into play. Let me give you an example. So let's say uh, most of our have never come through this door in the back. So the brain says, okay, there's a door. We've, got, we've gone through the door in the past. Uh, was it a safe experience? Yes, it was. Um, it will go into the data bank, look at what does the body need to do in order to go through the door. And then uh, if it's a safe experience, then uh, we will go through the door. Uh, babies were not born uh, afraid of elevators. Those are things that we conditioned uh, into our system.